Yes, but I have a question. Do you guys ever wake up? I'm talking to men and women. Do y'all ever wake up and just look at yourself in the mirror and say, I look beautiful today? Y'all woke up this morning like that. I looked in my mirror and I was like, I look gorgeous today. <laughs> They're just <good. laughs> They're Hello all my bells and welcome back y'all Welcome back to the channel If you are new here, welcome Also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed Go ahead and hit that subscribe button So that you can become part of the family Y'all, y'all hear it The crickets, I'm letting y'all know now The crickets outside is chirping Because I have my patio door open Because it is hot I just cooked this meal y'all So it's hot so we are gonna have to, maybe I put us in the park or something, in the dock, in the park with the crickets. Y'all gonna hear them because they out there and it's too hot to close the door. So y'all, we got us a little seafood boil. I wanted me some um, king crab. Y'all know I really don't care for king crab, but for some reason today I wanted some, I don't know why. I got some cucumbers back here. This is my cucumbers for my, um, when I had the sausage, rice and cucumbers. I was like, let me use this before it goes bad. I actually bought some cucumbers, the baby ones that I like, but um, I forgot I had that one at home. So I'm like, let me use this one first. Y'all, I got my sauce. This is a new batch of sauce and I just made it today. So it's probably not going to taste as good as I want it to taste because it's better. As the days go by, it tastes better. But it's good. I'm sipping on some bubbly, some red wine. Yeah, comment down below if you know what wines go with which, like what red wine goes with, like what the seafood, what type of wine the seafood go with. I have my water too, y'all. What type of wine does seafood go with? What type of wine does um, like beef go with? Even though I don't eat very much beef, but. I think y'all get the drift. The little boys hollering. I guess maybe somebody's murdering them or something. I don't know. Y'all, I like that these are already cut. Y'all see them? They cut already. It's got that stuff on it that I'm not eating. I'm not eating that. Y'all will not be doing any comments today. Y'all know when I do seafood boil, I don't read the comments because my hands is messy. Yes, they are. But y'all see that big old thing? That thing is huge. It's huge. I have nothing to put those shells on but we gonna get in this sauce I probably should have a bigger bowl for this sauce I didn't put any garlic in my sauce today did I say that already mm. that's the only thing about the king crab it's saltier than snow crab saltier than Dungeon is but what I am finding out is that it's only in the bigger ones, like the big, big ones. This was pretty big, but and it's salty, it's not super duper salty, though. But it's salty enough. And uh, drinking some water so you can um, take the salt out. You know, I read one of my comments. I read all my comments, but I saw a comment that um, Vera, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it was Vera Donald. I believe it was. She said she made my sauce and her husband really enjoyed it. Thank you, husband of Vera Donald. I'm glad you enjoyed the sauce. The sauce is really good. 
and I don't only say it because it's my sauce that I made it, but the sauce is bomb. If I shall say so myself. I like that they cracked these for you already. You ain't got to worry about hurting hands. I know that's what it is about those smaller ones, like the smaller um, king crab. They don't crack them for you and they hurt. Them prickly things hurt. These don't hurt. At all. Well, they hurt a little bit, but it's not that bad. Y'all, we sitting un at the restaurant outside under the stars. Because you know right now when you go to a restaurant, they have outdoor dining. So we outdoor dining and the crickets is chirping. Mm-hmm. Are y'all enjoying it? Remember, I used to sneak y'all to the park when COVID first came. Now we're all at the restaurant. We ain't six feet apart either. We just chilling. All of us together. Outside at the restaurante. I can't get that out of there. Y'all see, the thing is, is even with, I mean, with the, y'all know I don't eat a lot anyway, but the, the, this crab, because it's so big, I get full quick because it's so much meat. I'm already getting full. For real. For reals. My sauce is not as good as I want it to be today. But like I said, it gets better with time. That's why I really like, if I know that I'm going to do a seafood boil, I like to make my sauce the day before. I was actually really going to do tacos because I wanted to put a video up for Taco Tuesday. But um, that didn't happen because I had some taco meat from when I made. I made tacos one night, but I didn't eat. So y'all had the taco meat so that I could eat the tacos. Yeah. I came from work, home from work. It was gone. I'm like, um, could have asked me, was I going to eat that? It was just gone, y'all. Just gone. I'm yeah. like, wow. Just ate my, just ate my taco meat. Just ate it up. I tried that rubber band thing, Joni Meeks. I tried the rubber band thing. It didn't work. It got a few of it off, but not a lot of it. But I did try it. Mmm. Did y'all see that? I squirted it all at y'all. Y'all, this is a short video. I probably can read some comments because I'm full already. And I have stuff coming all down my chin. Y'all bought these towels some years ago. And they're really beach towels, but I always use them as towels to dry off your body when you get out of the shower. But they were like a dollar and something at, I don't know if you guys even remember, it had to be years ago because I bought them at Anna's Linens. There is no Anna's Linens anymore. Anna's Linens has been gone for a good, I still lived in Pasadena when Anna's Linen, Anna's Linen was around. I've been living where I am now for, my son is 17. I've been living here for 13 years. So I've been having these towels for a long time, but I bought me some more towels. So now I just use these for anything to wipe up the floor. Now I'm using it from a seafood boil, even though I got paper towel right there. I cannot go without paper towel, y'all. I have to have paper towel. I have. When I say I have to have it, I have to have paper towel. Absolutely, positively. I cannot go without paper towel, paper plates, and uh, Scott's tissue. I can't do it. I got a big old thing of paper towel over there. Y'all remember when I did my um, Sam's Club haul? I haven't even opened up that paper towel because I still have paper towel left from um, when I bought it a month ago or something like that. Y'all, I, I don't think I'm about to eat anymore. So I'm going to go get my iPad. I want to finish this corn. I'm going to go get my iPad so that I can read some comments 
from one of my videos. Y'all probably say, well, lady, when you gonna move? When I feel like it, I don't feel like it. Actually, my leg right here, because I've only been doing this video for nine minutes and I'm already full. But I tell you guys, when I go hungry for the entire day and don't eat, the only thing I ate today was one piece of turkey bacon. That's it. One piece of turkey bacon. No, I had some chips. I was about to lie. I had some chips. But that's all I ate the whole entire day. So a lot of, I don't know why a lot of people think when you, and I've said this several times, when you wait to eat, you can eat a lot. That's not, well, I can't eat a lot if I didn't wait to eat. But your stomach shrinks when you wait all day to eat. This corn is so good. I have a friend who enjoys my seafood boils. They moved away. They no longer live here, but they enjoyed them. They probably watching this video. This is to you. They probably pissed too. Like I told you, I want some of that um, seafood. Well, you should never moved away. You should stay where you live. all you YouTube content creators out there do you have family members or friends that don't want to comment on your channel because they like well I want to say something crazy somebody told me that they wanted to say something crazy about my try on haul I was like well you should have said it it doesn't matter to me what you say on there I mean say what you want to say say what you want to say so y'all, let me go with my iPad so this video is not forever. I'll be right back. Moses did 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 with zoo 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 ASMR. <laughs> very nice video. Thank you for sharing, sis. You're very welcome. I'm gonna get your name right one day. I don't know when, but I'm gonna get it right. Donazy TV said, "Can I have a plate?" Laugh out loud. Great video. Sure, you can have a plate. It's gone now though, but you could have a plate. You could have most certainly. Yes. Simply K. Ow. I believe that's how that's pronounced. I'm first. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Ex Tina Grubbs. Yum. Tuned in, sis. Thank you, sis. Ex Tina cut her hair, y'all. Ex Tina cut all that beautiful hair off of her head. I'm upset with her. Because that was some beautiful hair. She had some beautiful hair. She was saying that she needed to be cut, but I just liked all that hair. I liked it when she wore it curly. So pretty to me. Deborah Cooper, food looks delicious. Thank you, y'all. This is from my when I did the healthy meatloaf video. The health, the meatloaf, the um, cauliflower mash, and the greens and kale. Chi Chi Eat said, "Girl, your eyes all messed up. They are. They just a mess, y'all. I wore my contacts to work all day for hours. I could not. Y'all thought I was going blind because I couldn't see. They kept getting blurry." But my doctor, the, doc, the eye doctor also told me that I have dry eyes, so I need to use some, um, oh, what is it called? Imitation eyes, not imita it ain't called imitation eyes. Um, synthetic eyes, whatever that is, you wet your eyes. Synthetic tears, artificial tears, I need to use that. But he also said that Visine is not good for you. And he, cause he asked me, do I ever use eye drops? And I said, well, yeah, I use Visine from time to time. He was like that. Visine is really not good for you. You say either you refresh or something else. I forget what the something else was, but I bought refresh. But I needed to take it to work. And my when I wore them, I was thinking to take the take it to work so I can go and squirt my eyes every now and again. I should have did that because my vision started getting blurry throughout the day. Ginger snap forty four. I just spit my Sprite out of my mouth across the room. You have more sophistication, class, manners, love, and respect than anyone I know, sissy. You've taught me so much about life, seeing people's eyes wide open now because of you. That's how, thank you, sissy. Thank you. I love you. I love you to pieces. I, I don't think that I'm ghetto. I, I, don't, I could be a little raunchy sometimes, but ghetto, I don't think that I am that. 
but if that's what people think, you know, I mean, I don't even know what ghetto is to tell you the truth. What is what is ghetto? Because you talk a certain way. Like London and Azure tells me that I talk when I'm talking to like business people, I change my tone of talk. But I think everybody does that. But they said then when you talk to other people, you talk like Azure always asks me, why do I talk so loud? I'm like, I'm not talking loud, but I have a friend who asks, tells me that I talk loud. Like, why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. This is just the way that I talk. But it's all good in the hood. That was ghetto right there, huh? I guess, to the person who says that I be ghetto on my videos. This one's for you. I should put your name across the screen so they know who you are. Um, I did my hubby the same way. He wouldn't eat no off-brand foods, but 25 years he has. I just never said a word. I can't stand to see kids dirty, starved, mistreated at work. So I see so many kids come in foster just dirty, hungry, and I would get so mad. I would love the lab. I, I would leave the lab. These babies are innocent and if you can love and if you can't love them, if you can love them and take care of them as you should, then well I pray you burn in hell. If you can't love them and take care of them, I pray you burn in hell flames i love you sissy i love you too she wasn't telling me to burn in hell y'all she was telling them foster parents who don't treat their kids right to burn in hell and it's the truth don't take anybody's kids because you want to check and you mistreat them don't do that i hate that that is horrible i've seen it so many times being in the business that i'm in veggie pals hey show i love your witch's hat headband thank you i like it too it was cute it had a little bright so that witch was getting married, but this wouldn't. This witch ain't getting married. No, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Your meal does look healthy. I like the rice cauliflower, and I love. I like the rice cauliflower too. It was really good. I got one. It was a rice cauliflower, and it had carrots and something else in it. It was some type of medley. Oh, and asparagus. I picked the asparagus out because I, I don't eat that. Um, people don't. Um, and cauliflower mash. People don't go stealing with or without your kids. Exactly. Don't steal, period. Don't be out there stealing people's stuff. If you cannot afford to buy it, you don't need it. Period. If you can't afford to buy it, that's something you don't need. If you got to go in the store and you got to steal whatever you want, you don't need it because you couldn't afford it anyway. So put it back. Quit trying to live. I know there's a lot of people who like to live up with the Joneses. You know that saying that they want to live with the Joneses or be like the Joneses. I don't want everything everybody got. And if I can't afford it, I'm not buying it. Y'all see, I tell y'all, I go shop. I can get about 10 outfits with about $200. Probably not 10, but close to 10 with about $200. I'm not finished to be buying, going out there buying no $80 pair of jeans, which I've had before. I bought a pair. I thought I deserved it. Actually, I bought me two pair. No, and they wasn't $80. They was actually on sale. They was $50. Two pair of, um, what's some jeans called? They made my booty look nice. Um. Uh, the Buddha man, the man Buddha is on it. Um, what are they called, y'all? I think of it. I'll come back and tell y'all. I forgot what they called. True religion jeans. I bought two pair of those because I really wanted them, and they was having a sale. They they were forty nine dollars and fifty cents. I would never spend eighty dollars on a pair of jeans ever, never ever, no. But when I tried the jeans on, they made a sister's booty look gorgeous, so that's why I bought them. Um, people don't go stealing with or without your kids. You talking about bad foster parents reminds me of a movie I just asked Dante if he had seen. It's called Instant Family. I think I've seen, I, I don't think I've seen it, but I've probably heard of it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's pretty funny. I am going to look it up. But I believe if, if, if it's on Netflix, I believe I've seen it on Netflix. Um, I believe I have. I think, it sound, that sounds familiar, but I'm going to check it out. If it's not on Netflix, maybe it's on Amazon Prime. One of those. I'll check it out. I'll look for it. Dante James. We were just talking about Dante James with Miss Veggie Pals. With Miss Amy. Dante James. Happy day, Shell. I like to say that like that because that's how he does his intro. Um, what does he say? Um, happy day. Yeah, I, I, y'all, I can't. Happy day. And he does a little. I, I can't do it, y'all. I tried, Dante. It's been a minute. I have to go catch up on the videos I missed when I was sick. Oh my gosh. I am I I'm hope you feel better now, Dante. I, I'm assuming that you do because you're on YouTube. But I mean, you can't watch everybody's videos. I don't expect for people to go back and watch 10 of my videos because they were sick and they missed them. I don't fault you for that at all. I'm still going to watch your videos. So I don't fault you because life happens. 
life happens and people have to understand that and if you have people who can't understand that then they ain't true to you anyway so if you can't understand that life happens and things happen in my life and this happened or that happened so i could not watch your videos you don't have to explain to me why you didn't watch my videos i saw your video that said you were sick so i wasn't expecting for you to be like oh well let me just sit and watch videos because i'm sick no some people are so sick to where they can't watch videos they don't want to do anything and he said that he felt bad he didn't want to get out of bed he has some type of food poisoning i watched his video and i don't fault you for it at all dante so i'm not um um in the mind frame is oh you're gonna go back and watch five of my videos because you missed them you don't have to you know that. if you feel up to it then you feel up to it if you don't you don't i don't fault anybody for that at all i've seen people who say people are not good and supportive and people people have lives other than youtube you cannot sit and watch youtube videos all day i don't see how people do it i ask ginger because i know that she works and she works long hours I'm like, how do I see you on everybody's videos all the time? You work a full time hours of hours of hours of jobs. I don't understand how you do it because I cannot sit and watch videos all day. I cannot. I have a life. I have two jobs. I have kids. Well, I, ha I have kids, but only one of them that, you know, I'm taking care of. But still, it's parenting is a full time job. Me and my son are trying to get college applications done. We had to go through to get the principal to I'm going to get back to my comments. We had to go through to get the principal to send the transcript because you guys know they're not going to school, physical school. So when we did London, London was able to get it from the school, but we had to email the principal or the counselor to see if they can send it. They finally sent it. So now we can finish sending off applications. And we got a lot to do, y'all, a lot of them to do. So I have a niece who, um, she's a counselor. She uh, lives in Atlanta. She's a counselor. So she says she would help him with get back to the comments. Um um i love your little witch hat thank you dante i've had the rice cauliflower it was pretty good i don't think you're ghetto thank you i don't think i am either but some people do but who cares what people think they talked about jesus christ talk about me all you want i can care less burgers with eggs on them are the bomb i didn't care for the egg that's right some foster parents just do it for the check instead of love thanks for sharing that is the most that is most certainly the truth. Y'all, my video's getting long. Lady Love, good afternoon, sis. The meatloaf looks delicious. Dornette Jackson, hey, shell food looks really good. I love collard greens. You do? I don't. I eat them because I know you need to eat them. They're good for you. But I don't want to eat daughter thought I was rich. I, yeah, I think my kids think I got a money tree in the backyard or something. I ain't got a backyard. But I think they think I have a tree in my room or something in my closet or something that's growing. And it's got dollars on it because they always ask for stuff like I'm rich. I'm not. I'm not. She would go in the store and pick up the most expensive things in the store. I'd be like, girl, I'm not rich. Plus, it's four, y'all. Put that right back. Put it right on back. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Unless you're buying it. You got some money to buy it. If you buy it, you can spend all the money you want. But if I'm buying it, you're going to get what I want you to get. Big dot. Period. Big dot. Diamond Diva Eats. I've never tasted the cauliflower rice or mashed potatoes. You need to try it, Diamond. They are really good. They are really, really good. You should try it. You can doctor them up. Like I said, I put the ranch, the packet of ranch. I didn't put a whole pack. I just put half of it of the ranch, um, Hidden Valley Ranch, that little powder stuff. I put that in it and they were actually really good. I have to do the same thing with my eyes. I have to get two pair of glasses, need to, um, two pair for reading and I need a pair. Need I need because of uh, farsighted as well. I, I have very good insurance. I have um, Aetna. I believe that says Aetna. I believe it is. It starts with an A, but I believe it's Aetna. Now, because I am not working, but I am, when I was working, if I wanted classic glasses, I had to pay extra. If I wanted cheap ones that the insurance provided, then I could take those. So they just, that's just how it, how it is now. Want you paying for everything. Yeah, you got to pay for everything. But because I went to, I'm going to make this quick, because I went to an out of network place because like I said I never pay for glasses I've gotten coach glasses I've gotten Ray-Bans my purple glasses are Ray-Bans I didn't pay a dime for those glasses my son got um guest glasses we didn't pay a dime for those but when I as I'm here out here because I went to and I didn't pay attention my son was like mom she told you that last year and I was like I didn't pay attention because we can go once a year we can go every year before I mean up until from January starting the year and it's not even every year if I went in December of last year I could still go come to January of the next year so you don't have to wait a full year 
it's just calendar year so not even calendar year but it, it doesn't have to be a year you can go 2019 then you go 2020 in the beginning of the month but as long as it's 2020 so when it comes 2021 i can go again and i'm able to go every year and because i am an operator i'm able to get two pair of glasses i'm able to get um prescription sunglasses and i'm able to get prescription regular glasses so i'm able to get contacts and sunglasses but uh for some reason when i do my glasses out here i have to pay for glasses but i need to go back to pasadena and even pasadena they're glad they have a very big variety of glasses anyway this place out here don't have a very big variety they do have ray-ban they have guests they have nike they have randy jackson i don't want a randy jackson glasses i was going to get me some um they were ray-bans they were really nice but i was like i don't want to pay i'm already paying 179 or two hundred dollars for my son's glasses and then i was gonna have to, have to pay eighty something dollars for mine i was like i'll just wait so i can actually take my prescription and go elsewhere to get my second pair of glasses y'all i can't keep on reading all these comments um big belly bob meatloaf is one of my favorite meals for example been the che been to the cheesecake factory maybe 25 times only ate the meatloaf every time i don't like the cheesecake factory only thing i like from there is their avocado rolls not really a big fan of their food actually they do have a jambalaya it's a pasta jambalaya pasta that's good i've actually made that pasta i think i made it on my channel before i don't know if i did i'm gonna find it and put it in here but that pasta is really good but i'm not really a big fan of um cheesecake factory and i most certainly would eat meatloaf from there i don't eat meatloafs from like restaurants and I went to Sam's Club today and I saw the meatloaf that Marcos was talking about. I think Marcos said the meatloaf was really good from there. Um, but I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> Pickydale. Yes, they do. That that, and you need to treat them kids right. You can make them look real nice on a budget. Exactly. Very nice on a budget. You can go to Walmart, find stuff for 3 and $4 and it's nice stuff. If you can't afford to buy all Jaleel the Jaleel Odom. I've heard a lot about foster um, care. Most of it ain't good. It, it's not a lot of it is not they don't they do a lot that they should um, be held accountable for but you know the world we live in delicious feces and like um the hat thank you jaleel this is my last and final comment which is from courageous k my um woman who likes to do the hair y'all and y'all probably would say she should have had her hair channel because she changed her hair every week yeah i do mm -hmm. it's, it's brown today with a couple of highlights in there um my mother fosters a lot of kids and she never treats them different than the way she treats uh, treated us. And that's good. That's how it should be. Don't take on somebody's kids if you're going to mistreat them. Don't do it because you want to check. Those kids are already hurting without without and have their biological parents and hurt even more from the devastate the disadvantage of foster parents. That is true. So it's like don't take somebody's kids and then you mistreat them. Why are you going to do that? But I have a question. Do you guys ever wake up? I'm talking to men and women. Do y'all ever wake up and just look at yourself in the mirror and say, I look beautiful today. Y'all woke up this morning like that. I looked in my mirror and I was like, I look gorgeous. Today. And I'm not being vain, you guys. I don't think that I'm an ugly woman by no means necessary, but I'm not vain. Yeah, I'm vain. Y'all, I'm lying. I tell y'all all the time. I think I'm cute. If I don't think I'm cute, who else is? Well, I don't think I'm cute because monkeys is cute. I think I look good. But I woke up this morning, y'all, and I said, I look gorgeous for some reason. I don't know why I said that, but to me, I look gorgeous. I'm about to go. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Y'all have a Don't forget to watch it.